Hello everyone, I hope you're all very well. Today's viewer requested a question, I apologise I didn't get your name, but are, well it was actually are there satellites modelled in DCS World? And this was actually regarding GPS, because a lot of aircraft have EGI, you got the A10C, you got the um, FA-18, you've got the, I think the F-16 from memory, basically an even more modern than kind of year 2000 is going to have gps now you can't fly a plane just on gps you have to have ins as well because gps just simply isn't reliable or accurate enough to use fully you need ins as well so you tend to have ins and gps together so the uh, the idea is can we test if they're satellites in dts well we can certainly test if they're gps satellites in because some of our planes have gps so they're asking that in that case, are there actually physical three-dimensional GPS satellites modelled? I don't mean with a pretty fancy model, but is the theory behind the GPS satellite in the game or, you know, is it not modelled at all? It, do, does the, the, the aircraft just simply know where it is? Is it just simulating GPS that way? I thought it'd be really interesting to find out. The way I think we can test it, I mean, you guys might have a better idea than me. This is just the first thing I thought of, is when you have your sat-nav in your car, it works fine unless you go in a tunnel. If you go in a tunnel, it no longer works, right? Because it can't listen or communicate with. I don't know exactly how GPS works, but I'm guessing it's passive and I'm guessing it listens to the satellites and it can't get through and your sat nav shuts down. So that's going to be the same thing. And if it doesn't shut down in a tunnel, then I'm guessing then three dimensional satellites not modeled. We've now got our KA 50s, it's a really good choppers. I call them the FA 18 Cs of the helicopter world, the very comprehensive navigation systems. What we have here is something called an ABRIS. This is all about navigation and targeting data and uses the uh, GPS. So, simple as that. So, I'm going to unpause now, RC. Just set ourselves. So, here's something interesting, Cap. Yes. Look at that page and look at the bottom, and it shows the version of. DCS. Ha! Wow. So we're just on the main <laughs> normal page here. It shows the version of DCS. That's so weird. Right. GNSS is going to be our um, uh -oh. GPS. Okay. Oh, we've got satellites, RC. Please don't crash in front of the value viewers, RC. <laughs> what we've got here is our satellites. Uh, we've got satellites 11, 51 in relation to us. 1, 7. Here is what we think is the strength of our various satellites. You can see here we've got the, the strength signal of our various satellites. How many have we got? We've got 12. I think 12 is the maximum, but I stand to be corrected. Various stuff here I don't understand. Various stuff here I don't really understand. Here is our current altitude measured by GPS. First thing to do is go up above the mountain range and let's see if we get any more satellites added. Then we'll go right down into the canyon and see if we get any more satellites uh, reduced and then we'll go into the um, uh, tunnel and see if we get our satellites reduced there so stand by okay I'm above the mountain range now I'm not picking any more out it may just be that we have the maximum we can get here is 12 okay right we're gonna go into the canyon now land on a road and um, because these satellites are not you know just above us they're spread out all over kind of three-dimensionally in theory whoops no VRS please uh, we're really looking forward. We'll, the KF-50, I've never really studied it properly. When the new KF-50 comes out in DCS, we will be studying it properly, and we're looking forward to that, because there looks like some really interesting systems in this aircraft. You can see another satellite's yeah, changed. Um, yeah. Just got to try and remember how to fly it. So I'm having satellite... Something's happened with my satellites. It's great to see um, an old module like this, 10-year-old module or whatever it is, modelled so accurately. Still 12 satellites. Right, we're going to try driving it now. Still 12 satellites. Give it a moment to update. But two are grey. Um, if anyone knows what grey satellites are, let me know. Possibly means we're losing connection. Having a massive problem getting up this lip. Stop giving me so much lip, RC. That's what we say in England. I've made it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be weird, don't be weird, don't be weird, don't be weird. Okay, I've just trimmed them. I've given them a trim. Everything's okay. Uh, 12 satellites, this isn't looking good because we're getting in the mouth of the tunnel now but let's just kind of see what's wrong with the bird it's got this horrible feeling we don't fit but I think we can just carry on and just try and trim them off a bit RC if you, you won't be able to get any forward momentum though I need to get them balanced, rebalanced I'm having a horrible right. problem with balance oh uh oh right now what we've done there we've had a small problem, we've lost the clutch by the looks of it no they're spinning up again, they're spinning up again Okay, we're up and going again, RC. Okay, it turns out we can't move. So that, so far, is inconclusive, um, which is annoying. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't think, I think there's a hit. Have you, have you lost around. any satellites? No, they, the rotors are too big. Yeah. I can see them hitting. Okay. Have you lost any satellites, RC? Are you going to listen to what I'm no. saying, RC? No. 
Damn it! Absolutely what you're saying. <laughs> okay, valued viewers, we've added armor to our helicopters, and this time we're going to go in a bit more creatively. All about momentum, conservation of momentum, I see. Oh, shit. Check our satellites. Satellites are golden. 12 satellites erected. I already lost one. You lost one? How? You haven't done anything. I don't know. Just lower. Just gone down in altitude. Right, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Alright. No, oh, I'm out of the top. Oh, oh you just I'm not going to shout. I'm not going to shout the W word. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> wait, wait. How many satellites have I got? Yeah, how many satellites have I got? I've got 12. Oh. You're bouncing all over the place. Hmm. That was problematic. The guy said that I only had one satellite inside, but I didn't get a chance to look. Try and go in less vigorously than me, RC. Right, how many satellites? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Uh, it's not conclusive. It's still not conclusive. Damn it. Yeah, good driving, go. Cap. I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but that's some frigging good driving. Right. <laughs> Twelve satellites. I'm going to give it a little gentler. Going to go for the gentle approach. And he's got his gear out. In he goes, in he goes. No, nah, not in. Not in, no. are you? That didn't work. So this time we've got RC in an L39 in a hangar. A big fat hangar with where radiation can't get in and stuff, oh, I hope. Uh, he's going to make way for me, and I'm going to try and get my bod bod in standby. I'm not a very good helicopter pilot, RC. Please don't run into me. I'm standing still right now. RC, stop you it. Me? Oh, I'm going off. <laughs> Look All at right. that. Look at that. This man's born to fly helicopters, I reckon. Whoop, whoop, careful, RC. Glunas. Okay, I've got 12. 12 of those babies. I'm it's still saying 12. But you should be able to make it. I can make it, I'll see. I can make it. I've done harder things than this. Oh. Got it, we got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, sometimes I think we're too cool. Look at that. Too cool. Alright, good job. Right, satellites. Ah, 12 <laughs> satellites. God, this is driving me nuts. Probably because you have. Yeah. The problem I've got is I'm not convinced that. Uh, you know when you go into a tunnel, um, you know when you go into a tunnel, the, the radiation can actually bounce in a little bit, and I think right. this is not a conclusive test. Damn it, mother... I really don't know how to do this, RC. I am stumped. Okay, I've got 12 satellites, all top strength. Let's put ourselves next to the Burj Khalifa now and see if that changes. Watch this. Where are you going to the Burj? Yeah, now my thinking value, Drew, is, is if we tuck ourselves in the Burj Khalifa there, then, you know, at least the satellites that were kind of shielded by the Burj, we shouldn't be able to see, I think, maybe. I really don't know. But at least it's good for me to be practicing my rudder pedals, RC. But I want to get on that platform there. Breaking the laws of physics right now. You are? You are, RC? Yep. Gravity, I should say. Gravity? Okay, but that's I am a... right next to the Burj. And I have full satellite. Oh, I just... Coverage. Right. Okay. I am now right next to the Burj. I'm fully shielded from, I think, that direction there. And I've still got 12 satellites. And I can see in my direction that there are... Um, I think 1 and 25 should be blocked out. Are you landed right now? I'm landed and I've got full, I've got full sats. What about you? I'm yeah, you're... Look at you. Oh, look, at, look at RC. RC is stupid. Hmm. Look at you. I'm sweet. Oh, hello. I'm a bit fl more floaty than usual. <laughs> I'm not going to say the W word. I'm not going to say the W word. I think we're screwed here, RC. I think we should go out and review uh, Brooks's data. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything we can do here. That was annoyingly inconclusive. I really thought we would get conclusive results. However, Brooks managed to capture some data. He captured two data sets. Or well, not data sets, clips. So clip one, stand by. This was me going in. We may have to do it in slow motion if we can. So if you look at the Abris down here... I don't know if... Right, I'm in, I'm in. Stop there. You see, when we get in, it goes down to one satellite, you can see there. It says one there. Um, but obviously, I got <laughs> dragoned. <laughs> All right. Oh, I came up. And then watch this. They'll repopulate once I come out the top. Out again. the top! Oh, oh you just I'm not going to shout. I'm not going to shout the W word. I'm not. And you see, they're repopulating the greys when they're kind of starting to track again. Or, you know what I mean? I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, that is partially confirmed. Partially. Um, however, some of you might say it's because I was upside down or something. I don't know. Uh, we've got another one for Brooks. Stand by. I'm just going to go and look. 
Okay, so here is a rail tunnel and it goes wrong, but I'm going to see here's the data. I've got 12 there. Let's see uh, as I go in. This is one we did before we turned the camera on. 11, 7, 6. Went down to 6 as I was going into the tunnel there. It showed there. Don't know. I don't know. That's. I think that's probably uh, the best data that we're going to get. I think it probably confirms that the satellites are modelled in... Again, not, I don't, I'm not saying they're little 3D models, but their position and our relation to those positions. It probably confirms, but I think that's the best testing we can do. I think we've been here for an hour and a half. I think we're going to have to let you guys argue between you. I think it's probably modelled. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later.